Hello, Oz Dussole here with Datascopic, and thank you to Ann Emery and you all for this opportunity to be a guest blogger on our website. So Ann has done some really good tutorials on pivot tables, and I just want to jump into conversation and talk about pivot tables as a diagnostic tool. We have to think data quality when we're analyzing data, when we're telling people information, they have questions, and we give them an answer. We want to be trusted, and it means trusting our data. So, one habit that I'm in is as soon as I get data, I put it in a pivot table or I get it in shape to put it in a pivot table so that I know what I am looking at. So right now we have these members um, every member should be represented just one time because we just want to know um, what Brendan's donations were across 2008 9 and 10 okay and we already see there's an issue with Brenda being in here and this looks like a duplicate all right so let's go ahead and make a pivot table and I won't go through too many details because Ann has done a good job of that so let's insert pivot table okay let's see let's put names here and then we can even put names again over here alright so now we have a count and we see okay Adara is in here three times Elaine twice Ella twice Let's see unity twice Riley Neville three times Kenneth five times Keeley twice so this data is a mess we can't trust it right now we can't do any analysis don't tell your boss don't tell anybody what is going on with these data no summaries uh, about you know what Adara did and whether she's a, a, a good donor or a small donor or whatever don't say anything right now because we can't trust this data alright let's go back and look now see We've got Adara in here three times. Now let's watch something here. Okay. If we told anybody about her donations over these three years, it would be $2,496 too much. Okay. So we have to get somebody on the case to figure out... Um, which of these to keep? Is she in Maryland or California? Which of these is a good email address? Is she an active member or not? This is blank. What's going on? Okay. What else can we find here? Let's look. Let's get rid of name and look at state. Okay. 17 is not a state so now we see that we have some data entry problems how did 17 get in there Ohio and OH that needs to be tightened up PR for Puerto Rico okay good so we have a sense of what we're dealing with as far as states go all right, we've got 25 out of, say, 50 of the regular states, and then D.C., and now Puerto Rico. Okay, and then blank. We would need to find out what's happening there. Let's see. Let's get rid of this and bring in 2008 donations and the sum ok 
Okay. So there's $5,243 that aren't assigned to a state right now in 375 tied to 17. Okay. And who are the people? Let's get this name down here. Okay, so Blank. You want to sort. Okay. Denise and Levi are showing up in state 17 and a lot of people with no state okay so we've got cleanup to do before we can do any analysis so that's it for now I'm gonna go back to writing the blog post but I just wanted to give you a quick sense of what a pivot table can do for you as far as checking out your data quality so let me know if you have questions thank again thank you again to Ann for this opportunity and I'll see you on the website